ones, it's Victor and Tomoko desu. Tomoko desu on the back screen here. Let me let me blow you up to full screen there. It's Tomoko desu and little Godzilla. Say hello, little Godzilla. So the reason I have not been doing Jane use is because of him. <laughs> I can't blame the baby, but we got a we got a Jane use today. We got a we got a strange idea today. We're gonna do a Jane use with Tomoko desu in the background, right? Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> okay, so the first news story is very simple. As you can see on this screen over here, uh, this uh, famous Japanese soccer player. Tell us what happened to her. What happened to her? You know? Who is she? Yes, Sawa Homare. So she retired. Now, I'm pretty sure, and Tomoko, please correct me, I'm pretty sure that. Japanese people understand the word retire. Retire? Yes, yes. So you can say retire shita, but the proper Japanese expression is intai, right? Intai shita. So she retired. Hi. That's the first story. Now she was a she was a she's a pretty big deal in Japan. She I think she got she was the first Japanese person to ever get in like an MVP award at a Japanese Olympics. That's the first story. The next story Hi. is about the Hatsu Yuki. Hatsu means first and Yuki means snow. So the first snow of the year. Now because of global warming, which many people deny exists, the Hatsu Yuki this year was anywhere from 15 to 18 days later than usual depending on the city. Did you know that? Hatsu Yuki is very, very late this year. <laughs> did you, did you, you didn't notice? <laughs> it's, really, it's really warm, isn't it? So. It's, it's really warm. This week will be cold, but it's been very warm recently. So the, the Hatsuyuki over here. So Fuji looks great. She said Fuji san looks really. Kirei looks beautiful. Uh, and the big story is Kakuchi de Hatsuyuki. Um, yuki ni yoru jiko mo aitsugu. Now, Kakuchi means in every place. In every place. In every place. At every place we have Hatsuyuki, so we are having the first snows in a few places all at once yesterday. Fukuoka, was it? Anywhere else? We don't, yeah, we don't count Hokkaido because it's always cold there. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the, next, the, the rest of the story is Kakuji the Hatsuyuki. So everywhere there is new snow and Yuki ni yoru. Because of the snow, jiko mo aitsugu. Jiko is jiko, is uh, accident, and we can presume here car accidents, right? Um, not like accidental pregnancies, but <laughs> car accidents. Mo also aitsugu coming after one after another, so happening again and again. So there've been a lot of car accidents in the last couple of days because of this, and they actually, they actually. Um, Gave a couple examples on the news, but luckily nobody died, so that was good. Okay, but that is not the big story today. Hi. Tell me what's the big story. Hi. Eh, to, eh, 19-year-old college student. One more time. So, 19-year-old college student. Bushitsu, what is that? In her room? Ah, Bushitsu, oh, in the club activities room. Oh. Shitsu means room and Bu means, Bu is used for like a club activity, right? So Bushitsu, that, de is at or in, at the club, club activities room, what happened? Oh. In shishite, she drank alcohol, and shibo shimashita, she died. Right. In a university in Kyoto. Now, just that it's happened, and this happens every year. Uh, the drinking age in Japan is 20. So. So when you go to a convenience store in Japan, they will ask you to touch the screen to prove that you are 20. I. I right. I guess they're recording that. It must be on camera or something. They must be recording uh, that. Right? Um, 
Now, I do have a, vo a vocabulary list for you, so we're going to go through the vocabulary. Tomoko, you have the vocabulary, vocabulary hey. list I sent you? Hey. Some of it's very simple, right? So the first, yeah, the first word is osake. Mm. Now, the interesting thing about osake mm. is that many of you think osake only refers to Japanese alcohol, right? Mm. But uh, osake refers to all kinds of alcohol. Um, if you want to refer to Japanese alcohol, we usually say Nihonshu, correct? Right, Nihonshu. Nihonshu is Japanese alcohol, which is, you know, the stuff that samurais drink, basically. <laughs> Uh, the next word is Seito. Seito is just a student. She's a se now Seito is a is a is a general term for student. In this case, she was a daigakusei. Hi, daigaku no seito. Dakedo, joshi no bai, joshi daisei toyou So because okay, she's a daigaku daigaku no seito. Daigaku daigaku is a uh, university. Daigaku no means uh, like the apostrophe s. Daigaku no seito means a university student. But in this case, because she's a female university student, we say. Joshi daise. Joshi means female. Dai is university. And sei is student. So, Joshi daise. She was a university, female university student. Next word is. Next word is. Okay, I thought she died in her, uh, in her ryo. But I was wrong. Ryo is dormitory. I misunderstood. I thought she died in her dormitory, but she died in her bushitsu. But that's a that's a word I've never seen before. But I can I can see the kanji in my room. Hey, hey, hey! I'm trying to do a video here. Be quiet. Uh, sorry about this. <laughs> Just ignore the ignore the baby. There is no baby. That is not the baby you're looking for. Okay. The next word is. Hey, kinshi. Now this is a good word. Kinshi is prohibited or prohibition. Kin kinshi. Kinshi. There you go. So, uh, of course, alcohol is prohibited at all these parties on the university grounds. And she was apparently drinking with 10 other people. So, so next word. So, drinking, drinking on campus, oh, drinking on campus is kinchi or prohibited. Uh, of course, if you're of age, it's okay. But there, she's, she wasn't of age anyway, so it would have been, it's illegal either way. Right. Next word. Inshu is drinking alcohol, and the most common uh, pattern or set is inshu unten. Right? What do, buddy? Oh, inshu unten. Inshu unten is drinking uh, and driving. Inshu unten, and I'll add that to the to the the description below. Last part. Our, our next word. Nomikai. Nomikai is something you'll hear a lot when you come to Japan. If you go to a party, nomi is the uh, the noun form of the verb. That <laughs> sounds strange. The noun form of the verb for drinking, nomi, and kai is a party or meeting. So a drinking meeting or drinking party, literally a drinking meeting. And then? Nomi sugi. Nomi sugi. Nomi sugi right here. Nomi sugi. Sugi added to any um, noun form noun form of a verb means too much. Nomisugi. Um, Tabesugi. Tabesugi. I ate too much. There, there are many, many forms of that, but nomisugi is drink too much, so she drank too much, right? Next word? Ishiki wo ushinau. Ishiki wo ushinau. She lost consciousness, which is, yeah, pretty bad. Now, apparently, she only had nihai, two cups of uh, whiskey. Whiskey, ne? Um, any actually any liquid is when you drink is is measured in hai. Ippai, one drink. Ippai, nihai, sambai. Just learn those three. Ippai, nihai, sambai. Right? Sambai. Yes, sambai. Now notice that the the first part of the hai changes the sound. Ippai with a p, nihai with an h, and sambai with a b. But the kanji is the same. Kanji changes pronunciation depending on the previous kanji. Okay, so anyway, she drank too much and she lost consciousness. And what else do we have? We mentioned this earlier in the video today. Shibo shimashita. She died. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 a horrible story. Uh, 19 years old, dying in college. Okay. And the last word? Uh, more two words. Two more words, eh? Yeah. Gain in, gain, gain. Oh, oh, yes, the big one, right? Gain is the cause. So the uh, the authorities 
think that the gain or the cause was alcohol, acute alcohol poison, poisoning, which in Japanese we say. Kyusei alcoholu chudoku. Kyusei alcoholu chudoku. Chudoku is poison, but it's also used uh, when you talk about um, addicts. If you're addicted to something, we say chudoku. Kyusei alcoholu chudoku. Okay. That's your J news for today. I want to thank Tomoko for coming out today and putting it on the big screen. Let me put it on the big screen again. Oops, where is she? There she is. There she is. Dancing a little bit. And this is a this is of course three three different stories today. But if you're studying Japanese, we hope you learned something. Now you might think, what's the big deal? Someone died uh, drinking too much. But this kind of thing happens quite a bit in Japan. And at this time of year, at the Bonenkai season. You will see ambulances if you you know even pretty much in any major city you will see ambulances coming to pick up people who drank too much. Many Japanese are basically allergic to alcohol. Tomoko too, right? <laughs> You're allergic. You you can't drink alcohol. No. She has one drink. Drink a little. Tiny bit. Right? Tiny. She can't have more than a drink. And 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 uh, little uh, Godzilla too. You know, give him a little cup of whiskey and he's out. You know. <laughs> of course not, of course not. But um, yes, uh, a lot of Japanese do not have the enzyme necessary to break down alcohol so they can't drink. Uh, so you see a lot of people who, um, uh, who, who cannot drink. But not all Japanese cannot drink. Ja uh, Tomoko's husband, for example, is incredibly strong. <laughs> and he can drink like a whole bottle of whiskey, much more than I can. So there you go. Uh, anyway, this this is the kind of cr this is the kind of tragedy we will see a lot at this time of the year. This is Bonenkai season, which means uh, Bonenkai literally means forgetting party. Uh, so a lot of a lot of a lot of companies and schools and class uh, group basically friends get together and have these big parties and try to drink away their bad memories of the year and get ready for the next year. But anyway, anyway, that's your J news for today. Thanks for watching, if you watched this long. Look forward to my next video, which is about the Star Wars. Um, <laughs> I went out, I went down and uh, taped Star, Star Wars is opening tonight in Japan as well, which, which happens sometimes. Sometimes we have the same movie opening to, uh, in the same country at the same time, in different countries at the same time. Star Wars opened tonight and I, did a, I went out to the movie theater and showed you how the Japanese were celebrating that. Anyway, are you, are you gonna go see Star Wars, Tomoko? Yeah, yeah. Then, next week. Next week? It's, it's really crowded, and I, I spoke to some French people tonight who, who were uh, going to the Star Wars, uh, the, the first, the first, <laughs> the first show, and they said they got their tickets like a month ago. So, everyone has their, has their, has their tickets reserved. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, and remember to give us a thumbs up. These videos are very helpful, Study I think. Hard. Study hard. Bye, guys. If you need help, then dial your operator.